Since prehistoric times, the Inuit have used quick freezing to preserve fish. They threw their catch onto the Arctic ice to instantly freeze it. It wasn't until the early 20th century that the rest of the world discovered that this was better than slow freezing. It's a case of progress moving at a glacial pace. Fish that's rapidly frozen right on the ship better retains its flavor and texture. This is minced cod, frozen solid. It underwent quick freezing in China and was shipped in this frozen state all the way to this Nova Scotia facility, where it will be turned into fish sticks. The fish blocks are loaded into a machine. A powerful ram forces the blocks through knives, which slice them into logs that are 48 centimeters in length. The logs are loaded vertically into slots. Below, more knives slice the logs into sticks. 85 fish sticks will be produced from one log. They check for breaks as the sticks move to the next station. At another production line, quick frozen haddock fillets are dumped into a big steel hopper. It funnels them to a flighted conveyor. Each bunch is dropped onto a vibrating table. The vibrations separate the fillets as they move into lanes and shuffle down to an inspection station where flaws can be easily spotted. Now it's time for a hot shower. It lasts just a second. The hot water melts the fillet's protective glaze but doesn't thaw the fish itself. Deglazing allows the coating mixture to stick to the fish. The fish sticks then travel through a curtain of batter made of flour, water and spices. The excess collects in a pan below and coats the bottoms of the fish sticks. Back on the haddock production line, they're loading a toasted wheat blend into a machine called a breader. It creates a thick shower of crumbs below that coats the fillets evenly as they journey through. Then, the breaded frozen fillets head for the fryer. The fish sticks go through a fryer too, for 28 seconds. Just long enough to cook the outside coating, but the fish remains frozen on the inside. Creating what we all know as fish fingers. With the coating baked on, the fish fingers and fillets are now en route to the freezers. Meanwhile, on a third production line, oil and red peppers go into a high-speed mixer. Some parsley is added for seasoning. While it steam cooks, it's stirred by hand. The red pepper sauce cascades from an applicator, saturating these frozen fillets. This coating sticks without being fried, so the fillets head straight for the spiraling freezer. The fish fingers and breaded haddock are in similar freezers. After 45 minutes, the haddock slides down a chute, which weighs it into portions. Heated jaws seal the backs. An oscillating feeder deposits the fish fingers into boxes. One last inspection and they're ready for the shops. The peppered fillets are vacuum packed and this meal is sealed. Now, no matter where your tastes lie, there's plenty of fish to fry. <laughs>